This is the math intervention video for 8.1, which is I can use positive, negative, and zero exponents to write numbers. So we're going to start, um, and we're going to look at base 10, and we're going to work our way down here. So I have a bunch of um, examples here, and we're going to kind of determine a pattern that happens with these particular problems here. So we're going to start with 10 to the fourth. And 10 to the fourth, what that essentially means is you are taking the base 10 and you're multiplying it together by itself four times. So we could write this as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which ultimately just equals a one with four zeros after it. All right. So that answer right there would be 10,000. And that's how you would write that. 10 to the third would be the same pattern. We would do 10 times 10 times 10. That's what the exponent of three means. So the base, um, the base, maybe I'll just write this here. This is called our base right here. Our base is 10. This little three is called our exponent. All right. And that base, when you see a base of 10 and an exponent of three, it just means you multiply the base together three times. So 10 times 10 times 10 would be a one with three zeros behind it. So we get a thousand. You can see a pattern here. Essentially, when we get rid of an exponent, we, we lose a zero. So this next one would be 10 times 10, which would just be 100. And that pattern continues. Hopefully you can see we're just getting rid of a zero. Now we get to 10 to the first, well, that's just a 10 by itself. So that's what we have right there. Now, if you look, the pattern that we see is every single time we get rid of the zero. So when we do a base of 10 to the zero power, we just have to get rid of one of those zeros. So 10 to the zero power is one. The cool thing about that is 10 to the zero is one. Any number, any base that we have to the zero power is going to be one. If it works in base 10, it's going to work in all of them um, because that pattern has to continue. So uh, that's how you do the positive exponent and the zero exponent. Now we're going to get into the negative exponents. Realistically, what we're doing is we're moving the decimal point over one time. That's really all we're doing. So in this particular example, the answer would be we would just move it over one time and be 0.1. All right, we move that decimal point over one time. Now, there's another way you can think about 10 to the negative 1 power. You can think about it as 1 over 10 to the first power. It's not a negative number. It's just, um, it's just a decimal or a fraction, um, and that's what it would look like right there. All right. Now, the next one here, 10 to the negative second, would be 0 0.2. Uh, zero, 01. Again, we're just moving that decimal point over. Another way you could think about this, it would be 1 over 10 squared, which would also equal 1 over 100. And that's another way you could look at that. So let's go to this one right here, 10 to the negative third. Again, we just move the decimal point over one more time. All right. And another way you could say this is it's 1 over 10 cubed, which is also equal to 1 over 1,000. All right, all of those things are equivalent. So what I hope you notice is there's a pattern here. The pattern is we have positive exponents. We're going to get these larger numbers, all right? Anything to the zero power is one. And then once we get into the negative exponents, the answer doesn't make a negative answer. It produces a, um, in this case, a, a nice uh, small decimal or fraction. And that's one, one way you can look at it. So let's look at a different base here. So I have three with uh, base, um, uh, base four this time. So we got four to the third. What that means again is it's going to be four times four times four. All right. Um, and then we could obviously put that together. So four times four is 16. Multiply by another four, we get 64. All right. Next one, four to the zero has to be one. Anything to the zero power is going to equal one. And then if we have a negative three, what we end up is we end up with one over four to the third. If it works in base 10, it has to work with a base four as well. So that would be equal um, to one over 64. And that's how we would write our answer right there. So your job is to practice some of these. So we have some with positive exponents, some with negative exponents, and some with zero exponents. Your job is to simplify them and write them as whatever number they are. Good luck, and after you're done, set up your interview with your teacher.